Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks to Pandy, I'm going to be talking to you about why I don't fit in while studying abroad in Tokyo, Japan. Coming up. All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks to Pandy. In today's episode, guys, I'm going to be doing a video response to one Mr. Dave Trippin. At the time of this recording, I've been studying abroad in Tokyo for nine months now, although due to current circumstances, the majority of my education here was spent in online classes. In addition to my time studying abroad in Japan, before that, from 2013 to 2015, I was stationed in Yokosuka when I was in the US Navy. So getting right into it, the obvious reason I don't fit in here in Japan is because, well, I'm not Japanese. I'm unapologetically American, and I love it, despite the fear porn about America in the news and on Twitter. If anything, being outside of America makes me feel way more American than I ever felt when I was actually living in America. <laughs> Jeez, so many mentions of America. Who am I, Rachel from Rachel and June? In America. In America. In America. In America. In America. America. In America. In America. In America. In America. In America. America. Fuck yeah! So the reality is that in Japan, if you're not Japanese, you're seen as other, aka big scary gaijin who doesn't understand the delicate intricacies of Japanese culture, such as ikegomi or garbage arrangement. Well, that takes care of that. Now I've seen a lot of foreigners fresh off the boat make the mistake of trying too hard to assimilate into the Japanese culture, i.e. speaking only Japanese even when talking to foreigners who speak English, bragging nonstop about how many kanji they know, what JLPT level they're at, etc. And while it's best to take time to learn the language, something I myself need to do more seriously if I want to stay here in Japan long term, don't beat everyone over the head with how you appreciate the culture of Japan and that you're not like those gaijin who appreciate the culture. I think that in order to maximize your enjoyment here in Japan or elsewhere in the world is to embrace the fact that you are different and that your unique experiences and perspectives bring something refreshing to the table. Most Japanese people don't really know about foreign culture so as I was always told by my Navy leadership always be a good ambassador for yourself, your culture, and your country. Talk about what makes you unique. For me, although there are many veterans who live outside of America, especially in Asia, there aren't too many of them making videos talking about their experiences being stationed abroad and or living abroad as a veteran. And there aren't many students these days talking about their experiences studying abroad in Japan either, especially students in their 30s. Also, there aren't as many freelance video editors talking about their experiences in the field as there should be. This might be a topic for a future video though, so let me know if I should make a dedicated video about it. I'll also see if I can get some of my fellow creator friends to weigh in too. So ultimately, I would say that if you want to come to a foreign country, whether to study or to work or to visit, don't worry about not fitting in and instead embrace what makes you, well, you. If you're going to be staying there longer than a few weeks, it would behoove you to learn the local language and customs. But don't lord your knowledge over people's heads. Use it to better understand and communicate with other people. So yeah, guys, that's why I don't fit in while studying abroad in Tokyo, Japan. And I'm perfectly okay with that. And with that said, this is the Andy Son, signing for now. As always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Oh.